All right, we got our ASE certified master tech here alongside me. And the complaint is a trailer wiring fault message comes up on the instrument cluster and then there's no trailer connected. So we are gonna see if we can duplicate the symptom. Guys, we're making a YouTube video. Jeez. All right. Let's see if it just immediately comes. Watch. This is the worst part of intermittence. It might not come on. All right. So let's first. You got to decide what you want to touch first because once you touch it, let's try and touch this brake controller and see if. Uh, yep. Trailer just connected. Okay. So it recognizes that. That should go away. Okay, so it's smart enough for that. Now we'll try the brake. Ooh, does not like the brake right away. Very consistent, good direction. Let me show you what to do next. Next thing I want you to do is take a look at the trailer plug. This is the most likely culprit. 99% of the time, every time, this is gonna be your problem. Um, you can see the truck is, uh, is a little bit rusty and uh if you open this and it's full of green stuff see that green stuff that corrosion game over so even if that's on your oem plug you have to just go get a new plug it's over it'll fix your problem for this situation where it's saying trailer wire fault and the trailer's not connected the only wires that you need to worry about in this whole system from here all the way back through the trailer brake control module all the way is the ground and the trailer brake wire okay so we're just going to go ahead and check those now i'm going to check the ground and already we're about done here if you saw that you still can't really see it but you have Oh my gosh, what was that? About five volts. About five volts on the ground wire. And then we'll check the uh, trailer brake wire. And that should be grounded. That's going to the trailer brake control module. Now, the reason that we're only worried about those two is those are the only two wires that, that are the, the fancy wires, okay? They're on like, the, they're on the high speed uh, CAN network. So that that is how they can communicate with the instrument cluster and uh, give you that message. Okay, so there's a lot of good videos on the wiring of these seven-way uh, trailer connectors and the fours and all kinds of junk. So you can check out those. Uh, I'm gonna change this real quick. We'll turn the camera back on. We'll retest and we should be good to go. Hang on one second. I think we found the culprit. Corrosion wins again. All right, we got this pulled out of here. Um, it's kind of just, it's what it looks like. Those are the blades that you see. Then you just screw on the back. Like I said, a lot of good videos on that. Um, so let me just show you. Uh, now we are, we want to make sure that we were correct in our diagnosis. So we are going to check this uh, ground. Remember it had a little bit of voltage on there. So we're gonna hook up to there and we're gonna see if it uh, lights up this Tesla. Is it a full-time power with the key on maybe? But the key is on, so um, there you go. So we got a good ground and then we knew that that trailer brake wire was intact and working as it should. So I ended up uh, kind of going with the OEM look at the end. I usually go with these simple guys, but I just didn't have the internals for it for some odd reason. So that's what she looks like. Hi, friends. <laughs> All right, let's go make sure that message doesn't come back on. All righty, the trailer's plugged in. We're hitting the brake. No oh, dash lights on. We did it. Y'all have a good one. See you. Bye. 
And here's the bonus round for you guys sticking around is we were dealing with that white, that ground, and that trailer brake blue wire. That is what's monitored here. See this thing? This means these are fancy wires. These are high speed can wires. So um, the trailer brake control module did not like what it was seeing through there. All, see all that resistance that we had in there? It had power on connectors. It was pissed. So then it was saying something screwed up over here, shut her down. And then it went to the uh, instrument uh, panel cluster. Uh, crap, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, what's it called guys? IPC. Uh, it's called an IPC. It's the freaking dashboard. So it's late. All right, well that was the, the extra the extra bonus round.